Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus and check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4 as well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. What's going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video today back on New York Giants franchise Madden NFL 19. Got some upgrades before we jump into the game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at Raymond James Stadium including White Lightning Kyle himself. We're going to go into a uh, strong arm here. Hopefully increase deep accuracy. Okay, no, but throw under pressure goes up, which is actually pretty good. Up to an 80. Where are the other upgrades here? What do we have? Darwin James. That's a big one. What do we even want to do for him? Probably, it's got to be zone coverage, right? I think it's got to be zone. Let's go ahead and, and boost that. Boost him up to a 98 overall. Show me zone coverage. Only a plus one. But uh, he gets better. Lorenzo Carter has one. I still don't even know what I want him to be. It's probably got to be more geared towards a 4-3 outside linebacker. So we'll go in a run stopper here. And hopefully get coverage, maybe. We got plus 3 tackle, which is actually pretty good. Brings him up to 87 tackle. Howard Russell. It's got to be deep route running for him. Only a 79 right now. I really want release as well. So I think there is one for that. Release. There it is. Deep threat. Release. Deep route running. Spectacular catch. That's exactly where he excels. So I'd be more than happy to do that. Deep route running plus three is huge. Brings him up to 82. Medium route running goes up to 89. Spec catch is already ridiculously high at a 96. He can be good, man. He's just got to really come into his own. I think that'll be much better. Julius Manning, basically a linebacker. That's all he is. Got to boost zone coverage all the way. All the way in his own. Give me a big boost. Plus three. I'll take plus two. Brings up to 78 zone coverage. Tackle so high. Hit power pursuit also high. Block shed's pretty high. He is really just a linebacker. And I feel like the rest of these don't particularly matter that much. So if you guys are curious, run block goes up for Kershaw. That's gross. Um, if you guys do care, we're going to run through these quickly. But we're not really going to think about it too much. These guys are... Role players at best and special teamers. That's a ridiculously small head for his body. That is funny to look at. And then run stopper for Patrick Wright. He goes up uh, plus one speed. Okay. Probably not that impactful. All right, week seven. Actually, we do have some coach XP. I think I've already bought most of the packages that have mattered at all. And we don't have the uh, points for anyone that... Uh, really doesn't matter. Saquon, 99 overall. Odell, Keenan Allen, very high already. Tight end, Evan Ingram. I wanted to talk about DeMar Jacobs. This is a really good player. How do you compare to Evan Ingram? That's what I want to know. It's probably easier to look at this in depth chart. So Evan Ingram has plus four speed, but 86 speed is pretty elite. 6'5 to 6'3. DeMar Jacobs is a little bit lighter. Um... About the same acceleration. Again, minus three for Jacobs. He's not like that. Worse agility. Way better strength at 76 to a 63. Awareness about the same. Catching minus five. Catching traffic is way higher. Spectacular catch is way lower. Short route running is a 93 for DeMar Jacobs. 87 medium. 69 deep. Nice. 81 release. 82 jumping. Uh... Way worse pass block at 54. Evan Ingram is 66, but we don't really ask them to do that that much. And then DeMar Jacobs has better run block, even though he has no run block power and barely any finesse or lead block or impact blocking. I think just barely for me right now, Evan Ingram edges out DeMar Jacobs. The route running is huge. We have DeMar Jacobs with elite tier route running for a tight end, even for a wide receiver. He's got 93 short route running, 87 medium route running, with great catching overall. Not great spectacular catch, but 86 catching traffic is big. We gotta utilize this guy a lot more. All right, we're in 95 overall to the Bucks 81. Let's come out here, get her done. Giants, Buccaneers, and it's raining. I hate rainy games. I can't even tell you how much. It's, there's no consistency when throwing the ball at all. Who's our quarterback even going to be? It's Jameis Winston. All right. Let's, uh, let's seize the day. 
Siege the day. Seize. Jameis Winston already has eight interceptions. I would almost guarantee he throws uh, zero today. <laughs> We've been getting destroyed. We've had a few picks. I mean, it, I can't guarantee zero because with the user, you never know. But he'll probably have his best game of the season. Oh, great cornerback blitz. Mo Dubo's off the edge. Not going to get credit for the sack? Didn't pop up. Winston going deep. One on one. It's picked off by Sidney Jones. I don't know if Jalen Mills makes that play. Oh. Although, to be fair, like, Sidney Jones wasn't great last week. Third and 19. Just great. I'm dropping back pretty far. And of course, as I said, inconsistency from the quarterback will be a big thing today. It's an overthrow in the rain. I hate, I hate rain games so much. Kyle's looked so good these past couple episodes. And now I'm sure it'll be cry for a new quarterback. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh, ball's loose! We got it! I don't even know what just happened. That's a strategic missed tackle. You'll see me do these the kind of things a lot. Third and one. I think everyone in Raymond James Stadium knows who this ball is going to. Saquon Barkley, and it doesn't matter. They seal off the edge, and we can't cut it back to the inside. Fourth and three from the 32 in the rain. I might consider going for this. It's not exactly a stacked box. We could probably run this right up the middle. We're going to snap the ball right up the middle. Saquon Barkley first down. Dude, we've been facing some mean sheds in recent weeks. Laletta on the run. There's that throw under pressure. Probably left the pocket a bit too early. Missed that one. Third and ten. Someone's got to be open, right? We're just going to check down to Keenan Allen. Shoot. And it's all going to be for naught. We're going to settle for the field goal anyway. Or the field goal try. I guess this is slightly shorter. Even with the wind against us. I think we should be able to make it. Kick is up. And good. Good. 3-0 Giants to start this thing off. Let's play action. No, they're actually going to run the ball. Ronald Jones. How is that not a tackle? Good Lord, he's gone. I don't, I don't, I don't know. We got him deep. Oh, that's a perfect throw, I think. No. No. DeMar Jacobs can't haul it in. I feel like that was right on the money. Damn. Third and five. Let's see the route running on this route from DeMar Jacobs. It's pretty pretty good. We got Odell. Laletto this time delivers the strike. First down. A very rare three tight end set from us out of a jumbo package. We got Odell though. And we got a touchdown. That's pretty much the story of the Giants franchise. Odell Beckham Jr. All right, we're going to throw on the ball. That is unfortunately wide open. Is Ronald Jones going to be a big issue for us today? He's his entire offense. It's a play action. No, it's an actual run. Morris Dubow is making some plays today, though. Not letting Rojo go anywhere. That's a deep one-on-one -on -one shot. We're going to play the ball. Derwin James. The feet were absolutely in bounds. What do you mean? That's an interception. First half, it's worth the challenge. We're going to throw it out there. I think that's an interception. I feel like he gets both feet down here. Does that right foot just hover above the grass and never hit? That's got to be uh, overturned. That's absolutely an interception. Unbelievable. No way. I 
I gotta see this one. I really have to. Deep shot for Mike Evans. Turn around, play the ball. Left foot absolutely comes down, right? Left foot absolutely comes down. What about the right, though? I mean, I see the water splash up. How is this not an interception? That's very, I think, clearly an interception. We need to, we need to have a talk, EA. I think we're going to pretty soon, actually, so. We got some things to go over. It's proven to be very difficult to really get an offense going in this game in the rain. We continue to try our best. There's Keenan Allen. Just really open for some, some yak there. Said, it's a classic bangle throw short the, uh, the first down marker on third down. Something I complain about in real life all the time. Is Winston going to throw? Right to Alex Espinoza. Easy reads. User pick. Green eggs and ham. Thrown out a classic. There's so many other Dr. Seuss books. It's just, I know it's the same rotation. Like three every time. It's hop on pop. Green eggs and ham. I feel like I don't throw the cat in the hat out there that often, but I have this season. That's a, a classic. That's a blitz. I, oh, I'm, I'm wrapped up. That's why I can't do anything. Oh, now I'm going to spike the ball. Well, I don't think you can audible from this. Oh, I can. Hold on. Only clock management stuff. All right. Well, it's going to be a fake spike. Let's see if we can design something out of this. So it's a rare like backfield setup. Um, that looks weird. All right, dude, it's not letting me do the things that I want to do. That's what play we're running. I should have known that was a disaster. It would have been worth it to call the timeout. That was terrible. Third and 21. Yeah, I mean, had Barkley. Wasn't going to be first down. We're getting screwed here. Can we hit a 54-yarder with Aldrich Rosas? We're going to aim left of the goalposts. And that's that's going to be wide right. Uh, I didn't get time it. Dude, this is a disaster. Just click off, I guess. I don't know. No, definitely, definitely keep watching, but... This is bad. Third and one. Up the middle. No shot. Rojo is met by Cam Jordan. And I believe that was the rookie Kent Raymond. Tampa Bay is out of field goal range. Brian Anger is going to punt it from the 39. And that is out of the end zone, I believe, for a touchback. That worked out really well. But offense has been really tough for both teams so far. It's been one huge play from Tampa Bay. And uh, I don't even remember how we scored. But uh, I'm sure it was cool. Odell probably? I think it was Odell on a streak down the left sideline. In fact, I'm positive it was. That's open. That's a tough throw, though. That's a tough throw. Third and four. I really want to give the ball to Barkley, man. But they've been shutting down the run. And you see those two stars for uh, the best players on the field, for the linebackers, for a reason. We got Kyle Aletta doing something we don't do that often, which is scrambling with him. This time for mild success. We have a slip, but Odell's deep and wide open. How are you not outrunning him, Odell? But he breaks the tackle anyway. Touchdown number two for number 13. 67 yards. I don't really know what happened there. Just screwed up coverage. Nice hot route for the streak. And, uh... Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I, my reaction time on that was about as bad as it's ever been. Maybe in my entire life. It was like, uh... You ever seen those things where someone, like, throws a ball and it hits them in the face and then they go to catch it? That's almost like what that was. What are you doing, Julius Manning? 
What are these animations, man? Que es eso? Oh, fumble! Forced by Alex Espinosa. Rojo coughs it up. We've been getting a lot of fumbles recently, dude. I'm not complaining. Tampa Bay has already turned over the ball four times, and we only have 16 points. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. That's a heavy blitz, and it's picked off by what? Tavon Young? Is that who that is? Did the Bucks pick him up? Pick six, 59 yards. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm, I've been pretty bad right now, huh? There we go, Saquon. Wow, that's a great run. This actually puts us in striking range for a score before half. Odell's going to be open. Oh, come on. Odell's wide open. There we go. Let's get down here. That's our final timeout. You know what? That's field goal range. I think we've won here with that after the pick six. I mean, obviously, I haven't won. If I can even make this, dude. I've been terrible. Kick is up and kick is good though. 19 points going into the half. Could be better. And we should be basically shutting out. It's been two huge plays from Tampa Bay. They've got nothing going otherwise. We just gotta sharpen up. Let's go start of the second half. We get the football. 20 minutes to play. Let's hold them off. Off, I was gonna say, you don't need to know what I just was gonna say, whatever. That's a tough throw. Laletta on the money, though, to Evan Ingram. I just got to stop making mistakes with him. I'm telling you, Kyle's the guy. Maybe not in real life, but in this franchise for sure. Third and ten. Play action to Barkley. And Evan Ingram is open. Wow, what a play. Is that Quan Alexander, number 58? Yeah, it is. Wow. Wow. I've shanked another one. I might be the worst kicker in the history of the game. Go deep. Espinosa's in blanket coverage. Now he chooses double coverage. And Derwin James drops the interception. He's been robbed of two this game. No way. No way. Raekwon. McMillan can't wrap up. Kent Raymond can. Let's just keep him out of field goal range. No points. Third and six. I think they're in field goal range at this point. Oh, wow. Sydney. I need Sydney Jones to be in better coverage. I don't know how Mike Evans is. We got to change these matchups. We're putting Morris DuBose on Chris Godwin. Not now. What is happening? There we go. Man up straight across the board. It's a run anyways. Who's this? Latavius Murray? Oh, no. You got to wrap up, Landon. It's a good stop. Rojo's averaging, even after that carry, almost 9 per carry. 8.4 right now. I think it was 10 for 84. But still, that's way too many. Third down and four. Let's make a big stop. Please, dive at him. Something. Cam Jordan sacks Jameis Winston. They're still in field goal range, I'd guess, but we still are going to hold the lead. It also, won't be an easy one. I, I, can't, I don't know how many I've missed today. I don't, I don't know how, how many points I've left on the board. It's just been so many. I can't even speak. I can't kick field goals. But yet, yeah, the Bucks can. One of the most inconsistent teams. with, And Josh Lambeau has actually been pretty good this year. Uh, however, inconsistent in the past. Drills it. Third and two. And off to Saquon. We got some space. That's a good juke and a broken tackle. Saquon down the sideline, staying alive. But it's forced out of bounds at the 46. It's a close ball game, 19-17. It shouldn't be. How do you not throw the ball away there? We had open options in the flat. I was hoping something else would get open. That's completely on me. 
That's just not even that's not even close. We're throwing the game away. In that case, literally. This is brutal. That's a great punt. That is the best possible punt you can get. That thing basically touched the pylon when it came down. Right, we're in 4-6. That means no runs allowed. Oh my goodness. Wrap him up. That's a safety. That's a safety. Let's go, baby. Makes up a little bit for some of our uh, errors kicking. Not all the way. I guess they're giving Dalvin Tomlinson credit for it. We were in there with Derwin James. I think another linebacker might have been Kent Raymond in there as well. We just got to advantage, uh, take advantage of this. We've extended the lead to four points. Time to extend it to two scores. A touchdown here. That would be instrumental to our success. That's wide open. We're going to throw the flat this time. Staying in bounds with DeMar Jacobs. It's very good to stay in bounds there. Keeps the clock ticking. Also, pick up a lot of extra yards, including the first down. Sacked by Damon Harrison there. Ex-Giant. Jesus. Third and 26. This is brutal. They're sending heat. We're going deep. Oh my goodness. Odell Beckham Jr. made a crazy catch. He is he is the best player on this team, I think. That's open. There we go. Evan Ingram, he dropped the ball. He's so frustrating to me. All right, we're going to have to try another field goal here. This one is a... Uh... Oh my god, I'm gonna miss it again. <laughs> it's almost comical at this point. How many field goals have I missed? I need to check the numbers. It's it's every one. I miss every one. <laughs> Two for five on field. I've missed three uh, and an extra point. So four missed kicks this game overall. So that's, uh, I guess, nine points from field goals. I've missed 10 points. I'll have 10 points on the board. Should be 31-17. It's a screen. Oh, I read that pretty well. Not well enough. They gained 12 yards. Espinoza in man coverage on Mike Evans is not good but they run a screen they don't take advantage of the terrible mismatch and they pay for it third and 14 one of the biggest plays of the game and it's an interception by lorenzo carter the great wall of carter you can't get over or past it or through it unless you're david copperfield that was fake well who doesn't like a good magic reference wow Doing a great job with Saquon to run out the clock. That is not a great example of it. But uh, Tampa Bay going to call their last time out. Even though it's second and 12. As long as we pick up the first, the game is automatically over. Pretty much. Not automatically, but or even immediately. But it pretty much is in the books. Either way, the first down would just help out a lot. Third and eight. Handoff again is going to go to Saquon Barkley. And that's a great shed by Damon Harrison. We're really going to attempt a 57-yarder. We will, I guess. This, is, this has disaster all over it. Imagine this is the one that I hit. We'll wait it out. Yeah, I hit that one pretty perfectly. Kick is up and good. From 57 to make it a seven-point game. 
Wow. Wow. <laughs> We're not out of the woods yet, though. Tampa Bay has 14 seconds. No timeouts. Winston going deep. Someone make the play on the ball, please. Ball hits the ground. Incomplete. Nine seconds. We're going to come out and man up three deep now, I'm pretty sure. At a quarter. And we're going to send some heat. They're throwing short. It's caught by Kenny Galladay. But guess what? The game's over. <laughs> I don't know what the plan there was, Tampa Bay. But uh, miraculously, we have managed to win this one by a touchdown. Through 100 missed kicks. Through terrible conditions. Jameis Winston threw three picks. So my guarantee of zero was you know, not a great one. Defensively, we stepped up. Odell obviously was a beast. Five for 195, two TDs. He's a menace every game. Um, sack for Cameron Jordan, and that's it. Alec Ogletree is on the Bucks now, too. Interceptions for Lorenzo Carter, Alex Espinoza, and Sidney Jones. Good stuff from the defense today. A couple more forced fumbles. Evan McLean was the one who forced it uh, to start the game on special teams. Can't see recovery. It was Tavon Young. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.